you can go off and report on any story. You can come up with any story. All it takes is initiative, uh, the drive to go and do it. Um, you know, you need to, to make sure that you can put together a piece of journalism, take it to an organisation, whether it's a print organisation, radio or television, that you can be proud of, show it to people, and you'd be surprised how quickly uh, you might find yourself climbing up a ladder. I always think the best way to get into the media is to think what you have to offer. And most people don't think about things like that. They it, it always start with yourself. What stories have you got that no one else can tell about yourself? And whenever anyone writes to me and says, I've got a really good personal story to tell, they're the people that I always commission. Top tip for getting into the media is just do it. These days, there, there should be no barriers to, to getting involved. Start writing things. Start doing things online. Use the tools at your disposal. Just do it. I think you've got to produce, 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 basically. Um, nothing is too small, no subject is too obscure. Get in there, get writing about it, and get your stuff online, because you can publish yourself now. Begin referring and thinking of yourself as a freelancer. Anybody can do journalism nowadays. We all have the tools uh, that are needed to produce news. And I think lots and lots of people have the skills and the ability to do it too. Um, and everybody has a different way of doing it. Um... I think, which is important, I mean, an important point to mention, because I think there's no particularly good way, and if you try and follow other people's ways, it's not necessarily going to work for you. Try to find your voice, which I know is quite hard, but don't be frightened of putting, putting yourself into a piece. Don't try and imitate others. Um, make sure your punctuation, spelling and grammar is good. It's really, really basic, but really important. And just be persistent, because persistence pays off, not just in getting your foot in the door, but also when it actually comes to good journalism. Be prepared to start at the very bottom. Um, it's better to be in the offices of a great website or a great newspaper, making the tea, listening in, um, than it is to immediately start going for graduate traineeships. Don't worry about where you start, just get your foot in the door, and you'll be surprised how quickly you're able to move up if it's what you want to do. You know, be tenacious. Be relentless, don't give up and keep on shouting until someone listens to you. What you need, though, is you need a really clear voice. Nobody wants to read anything generic. No one wants to feel that they've read that before. If you have a strong opinion, make sure you stick to it and say what you really think, because while you, people may not always agree with you, people will remember what you've written if you really call it straight. So don't sit on the fence, say what you mean, say it passionately, have the knowledge to back it up, and if people aren't listening, just keep shouting loud and knocking on their door until they do.